हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ए न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ स्ट्रैट इंडिया द एमानुएल मैक्रोन गवर्नमेंट हैज गिवन द ग्रीन सिग्नल टू डिफेंस मेजर सफरान टू जॉइंटली डिजाइन डेवलप टेस्ट मैन्युफैक्चर एंड फाइनली सर्टिफाई एन इंजन दैट विल पावर इंडियाज ट्विन इंजन एडवांस्ड मल्टी रोल कम्बाट एयरक्राफ्ट एंड द ट्विन इंजन डेक बेस्ड फाइटर्स फॉर द इंडियन एयरक्राफ्ट कैरियर्स वाइल द गवर्नमेंट इज टाइट लिप्ड अबाउट द डील ऑथोरिटेटिव सोर्सेस हैज कन्फर्म दैट द हंड्रेड परसेंट ट्रांसफर ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी अफोर्ड बाय द फ्रेंच सफरन इज फ्री फ्रॉम यू एस इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड्स इन आर्म रेगुलेशन एंड द प्रपोज हंड्रेड टेन किलो न्यूटन इंजिन विल बी फुल्ली मेड इन इंडिया एज पर द इंटरनेल सोर्सेस द रिसेंट इंडो अमेरिकन इंजिन डील प्लेड ए क्रुशियल रोल इन कंटेन्सियस ट्रांसफर ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एलिमेंट्स टू पास थ्रो for which the saffron was not compatible with india already has the experience in manufacture overall and maintenance of turbomeca shakti engines for helicopters the m53 p2 engines for mirage 2000s and recently bought rafal fighter snecma m88 engines all saffron group engines are being fully maintained and overhauled in india both the iaf and hal have worked closely with french companies and are very well versed with the french fighter and helicopter engine technologies and working cultures india has already chosen the g414 for lca mk2 program and the same will be produced in india as per the ge deal india and hl would get technology for special coating for erosion and corrosion repair technology for turbines compression disc and blades coating and machining of single crystal turbine blades machining and coating of hot end parts complete tech transfer for blisk machining machining of powder metallurgy polymer matrix composites laser drilling for combustion and bottle boring of shafts of GE jet engines however GE will retain the IPR rights for each GE 414 engines manufactured in India General Electric probably will not share the technology of hot core sections and casting of single crystal blade technology of jet fighter engines GE will not sharing the metallurgical technology for production of high tensile strength steel which will be suitable for producing turbine steel blades G has pitched aggressively for the engine deal with HAL and agreed for unprecedented level of technology transfer up to 80% which has happened for the first time absorption of G technology will propel the indian domestic jet engine technology to a new level Despite the DRDO's best efforts since 1996 it could not deliver on the Kaveri jet engine due to issues with metallurgical tools rotating parts single crystal blade technology and high pressure engine core India do possesses the technology of casting of the single crystal blade up to core temperature of 1100 degree centigrade which can be used only in the helicopter engines The French offer includes a completely new engine, new materials, new architectures, stealth compliance with full supply chains and ancillary manufacturing based in India. While the price of the jet engine deal will be extremely competitive per engine in US dollar terms, the total process from designing to certification of the manufactured engine will take 10 years from the date of signing. The offer also includes Safran setting up a center of excellence in gas turbine technology in India with full design and metallurgical precision software tools. While the M88 engine of existing Rafale fighters with IF has a thrust of 75 to 80 kilonewtons, the French offer which includes 
tying up with Indian defense PSUs and local private players will produce a higher thrust engine as required by the AMCA or TDBF being developed by Aeronautical Development Agency under the DRDO. In addition to the higher thrust outputs, the new engine could be designed to give highest electrical outputs to power the advanced AI-enabled avionics in the future aircrafts and reduced IR signature exhaust for the stealth aircrafts. India is signing back-to-back -back defense deals with world's major defense manufacturers starting from US to France. One could see that there is a conscious effort by the Indian political military establishments to ramp up the Indian defense, especially after the Indo-China standoff in 2020. Thanks for watching the video. Do not forget to subscribe our channel and write your views and suggestions in the comments box. Jai Hind!